Hi guys! So to my amazement, August is at an end, which is quite scary. Uh, that went that went really fast. And I've read quite a lot of books this month. I know I won't be doing much reading when I go back to uni, so I wanted to read lots last month. And I did! So I will show you what those books are and let you know what books I intend on reading in the coming month. Now, this is in no particular order, but uh, one of the books I read was The Unwritten Volume 1, which is a graphic novel from Vertigo that revolves around the main character, Tommy Taylor, who I believe is in his 20s, and his father, who is now mysteriously gone from his life, uh, was a best-selling author who wrote a children's book series somewhat like Harry Potter, where the main character was also called Tommy Taylor, so a lot of people think that maybe he is the character from the stories that he is Tommy Taylor and that gets him in a bit of trouble and then we start to see this literary fancy world, fantasy world begin to blend with the real world and it's really interesting and I'm super excited to read volume two. I also read Chariton's Kalirohui which is the final ancient Greek novel that I had left to read so I have now read all five of the surviving ancient Greek novels which is quite exciting. I really enjoyed this one. I saw the main character Kalirohoi get married, go through a bit of troubles, get abducted by pirates and then travel across the seas to various foreign countries including Persia and find herself in the midst of a bit of a love triangle. So love triangles aren't just a modern concept I read three books on my Kindle this month. The first one was Fortunately the Milk by Neil Gaiman, which was a children's book and I have done a complete uh, written review of that on my blog, which I will link below, but I can say that I thoroughly enjoyed the book. It was really funny and really cute and I think you would enjoy it even as an adult, so if you're interested then go read my review. The second book I read on my Kindle was Anna Dressed in Blood by Kendir Blake. I did enjoy this novel. But there were a number of pros and cons to the story and I'm not sure if I'm actually going to read the sequel because although I enjoyed the experience of reading the first one, I don't think I've got the bug and I don't know if I'm interested in reading the sequel. Not anytime soon anyway. But if you want to know what my feelings are all around on that book and what the, what what factors about the book irritated me, hopefully spoiler free. I have also done a written review of that on my blog which again I will link below. And lastly on my Kindle I read The Herbalist by Neve Boyce. I think that's how you pronounce her name anyway. It is a mystery story surrounding three women in particular who all encounter this herbalist in a different way. They all live in this small town in Ireland during the mid 20th century. Another one that I enjoyed but I had mixed feelings about some of the elements of the book and I haven't done a review of that yet but I will be either here or on my blog so look out for that. I also read Voodoo Moon, a charmed novel which I mentioned in my bout of books reading wrap up. Uh, I was a little bit disappointed with this charm novel. It didn't really live up to the standards of some of the other ones I've read. I think it was just the writer's style in general I didn't get along with and I didn't really enjoy her characterization of the three main characters. It wasn't close enough to the television series for my liking so although I whizzed through this one and it was a nice light easy read I wouldn't really recommend this one if you were looking for a charm novel. I also did a reading roundup video where I gave mini reviews of three different books which included The Crane Wife by Patrick Ness, Looking for Alaska by John Green and Heliodorus's Ethiopian Romance, the other ancient Greek novel that I read this month. If you want to know more about what I thought about those books then check out that video because there's mini reviews of all of them in that. And that is all the books I completed this month. I did start a few other books and they are the books that are going to be my TBR for the next coming month. The first one I started was Fables Volume 3, which is part of a graphic novel series, as you can tell. Another one by Vertigo, who I'm sure I'll finish this one really soon. It is a little bit thicker than the other two volumes, but still, it is a graphic novel and they don't take too long. I also started Day of the Triffids by John Wyndham, which I am now at page 135, which is just past halfway. I am thoroughly enjoying this book. I'm really surprised that he wrote this one before Midwich Cuckoos and Chalky, because if I'd been reading them without knowing when he'd written them, I would have said this one was a little bit later. It's creating a lot more emotion in me than the other two did, although I thoroughly enjoyed them as well. It's an apocalyptic story where we start at the beginning of the end and it's really fascinating and rather disturbing. I also plan on continuing with Homer's Odyssey which I am now just past the 100 page mark which in mines is about a third of the way because it's just over 300 pages. If you're looking for this translation I'm not actually sure where this copy's from, it's my dad's, but it's the same translation as Penguin News so 
and I'm really enjoying this translation. It's a prose translation, so it's no longer laid out in verse, which I personally think, if you're not familiar with ancient Greek literature, makes it a lot more accessible, but that's really up to you which one you'd rather read. Um, I think the Oxford World Classic one may be in verse, but um, if you'd prefer a prose copy than the Penguin one, which is the same translation as I've got here, it's really good and I'm really, really enjoying it. I'm enjoying it so much more than I enjoyed the Iliad. I also plan on continuing reading, but not necessarily finishing, Angela Carter's Book of Fairy Tales. I just started this a couple of months ago and I've just been reading um, a few stories at a time, so I'm maybe about a fifth of the way into this volume and it's really good. They're just It's just a collection of folk tales and fairy tales from various different cultures across the world including Scottish fairy tales, um, Inuit folk tales, which the Inuit, one, the Inuit ones and the Russian ones so far have been the winners. Um, I'm en I've enjoyed those ones the most. Usually when I read folk tales the books are compendiums of fairy tales are all from the same culture so it's really nice having something that's got lots of different countries included in it and I feel like it's interesting to compare whilst you're reading so I'm really enjoying this volume. And if I get the time I also plan on picking up The Truth by Terry Pratchett. would like something a little bit more comedic in my life because mainly because of this book. It's, it's, it's an amazing book but it puts you in a bit of a downer and I want something funny to read. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Let me know what you're planning on reading next month and let me know what you read this month. Uh, if there was anything particularly outstanding that you'd like to recommend to me, I would love to hear about it. And I will see you all again very soon. Bye!